Hi everyone, I'm Shanna and this is Julia and we are both family law lawyers at the Connect Kelowna office. Um, today we're gonna be talking about a question that we get asked very often by clients. It's, do I get to keep property in my name after I separate from my spouse? So I'm gonna pass that over to Julia to answer. Right. Um, so the starting point to that question is that we need to determine where that property came from. So there's two types of property when we're referring to the division of family property. There's going to be property that you acquired during the course of the relationship. Uh, and that's going to be divided in a certain particular way. And then there's also property that you may have acquired before the relationship. Um, or you acquired that was an inheritance or a gift or perhaps um, funds from a settlement or insurance policy. The starting point is going to be if you acquired that property during the course of the relationship uh, and you now have that property and it remains in your name, it's going to be divided as a starting point equally between the two parties. Now, if you acquired that, part, that property prior to the relationship, or it was one of those other categories I just mentioned, such as inheritances, gifts, or settlement money, or insurance policy money, then that's called your excluded property, and that's gonna be treated differently. If that remains in your sole name, chances are that you'll be able to exclude that from the division of property, except that there will be a division of any increase in growth during the relationship. That's really the sort of high level analysis. It can get a little bit trickier than that, but that's the ba basics that are important to know as a starting point. So as you heard from Julia, it is quite tricky. So um, we do advise that if you have a property division issue and you're separating, that you contact us at Connect Family Law and we're happy to help. Mm -hmm.